Hey guys, I'm Ruth, owner and co-trainer here at Utah Bernadoodles. If you are new here, please subscribe to our channel. Today we are here with Ruthie. She is an F1B mini Bernadoodle and she has medium to low energy. So she's the type of dog that's going to be a little bit more chill than some of the other ones that we've seen. If you want to compare her to Luca, she is much lower on the scale of energy. She still does everything we ask. So she does have enough energy that she's still happy to do things. She just doesn't do it with the enthusiasm as say Luca would but she does great and she is exactly where we want her to be. So today we're gonna go over our expectations for our turnkey program in our house, outdoors and in public.
So now that we've gone over our expectations for our turnkey dogs outdoors, I want to show what our expectations are in public. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the store. We expect her to still be able to loose leash walk, heal, and do all of her commands without going and greeting other people unless we give her the command that's okay. We don't want her to be trying to go and see everybody. We really want her to kind of pay more attention to us. So we will get started. So now that we have gone over what is expected of our turnkey dogs in public and outside, I wanted to go over what is expected in the house. So the first thing and the most important thing is her kennel. And what I mean by that is she should be able to be in her kennel, be happy, I should be able to walk around, I should be able to leave the room, and she shouldn't whine, she shouldn't cry, she should just sit there and be happy. Another part of being kennel trained is being able to stay in her kennel and not bolt out even if I have this gate open. The gate should not really do much in the sense of a barrier. It is just there if I'm going to be going out then I will close it but she should be able to stay in there until I give her a release command. Ruth come yes good girl. I should also be able to ask her to go right back in her kennel and she should be happy about it. Ruth, kennel. Yes, good girl. I should be able to have that gate open without her coming out. Part of being kennel trained is also not having any accidents throughout the night and she is already to that point. So another thing that we expect all of our dogs to know is place. Ruth, come. Yes, place. We expect them to be able to go on their place from really anywhere in the house as soon as they know where their place is. Her place mat does not have to be a mat like this. This is just an easy mat to move around. 
you can have an elevated place or really anything that you show her is her place, that will work. Another thing is we expect them to be able to get on an elevated surface. Ruth, come, come on, on command. We do not allow them to get on the furniture. We do expect them to be able to get on things when we ask them to. That way, that does build a respectful relationship between you and your dog. Good girl, Ruth, place. Another thing is place under distraction. It doesn't matter what's going on. She should be able to stay on her place. Another thing that we expect all of our turnkey dogs to be able to do is to leave it. I have chicken in my hand, which is a high value treat. I should be able to drop it without her trying to bolt for it. We teach our dogs to not get anything off the floor. That way, if we're cooking with raisins, avocados, or grapes, we don't chance having them just gobble it up the second it hits the floor. Good girl. The same goes for when you're feeding every single morning. We do not want to allow her to just run right in and to eat her food. We want her to have to wait. Again, this builds a respectful relationship between you and your dog. And she understands that you are her food source and she can get it as soon as you say, okay, good girl. So that is what we expect for our turnkey dogs in our house. We also expect that they respond well to children in the household. And so we're gonna do a quick time lapse of Ruth doing her commands with the child. Down, down, yes, okay, we're good. good girl, okay, good girl. So another thing that we expect all of our turnkey dogs to know and do is to sit and wait at any door. We do not want them to be running or bolting out, so we expect them to go over to the door and sit and wait with us. Ruth, come, good girl. So when we're at the door, we should be able to hold this door open for any duration, she shouldn't try and bolt out. She should sit there. I mean, we have a cat, so she should be able to sit there and not bolt out until we ask her to come out. <laughs> 